Uh, hi everybody. Um, I thought I'd do a very quick video. Um, for those of you who are thinking of putting uh, two speakers, uh, twin speakers, in your locomotives uh, and the things you've got to watch out for uh, and be very very careful or you'll damage your decoder. Um, if you want to put twin speakers in a a locomotive you can either put them in parallel or serial um, and there are two different ways which I'll show you how to wire wire them together and the pitfalls uh, and the damage you can cause if you do not get it right um, now I've got these to show you um, I think these were from the uh, Megabase speakers they're from the same guy um, I haven't tried these yet. They're supposed to be self-contained, so you should get a decent sound. But I would put them in a sound box anyway. Um, but for this exercise, I don't need to. Uh, these are the Mega Bass speakers. Now, I've used uh, my multimeter and tested um, each of the speakers because you don't get a true ohm output uh, from or input from the. Uh, the speakers for example this is an 8 ohm speaker but when I tested it it was only 7.2 ohms um, the iPhone speaker was 5.9 ohms this was mega bass was 7.2 ohms this um, which I'll show you more in detail um, when I do the or the wiring rather this is set in parallel. This is neither two speakers put in a 3D printed case or sound box. Now when I tested the ohms on this there were just four ohms. These are two 8 ohm speakers um, wired together, soldered together in parallel and I'll show you more about that now. Um, if for example I wanted to wire these speakers together um, in a locomotive and I wanted to do it in parallel then I would wire them like this so red to red black to black so it would be wired together like that and then just a spare off to solder to your decoder or your circuit board you can't do it like that you'd have to cross the wires over if you wanted them facing each other so it'd be like that what you would then end up with if there were 8 ohm speakers true 8 ohms and again as when I measured it um, there was like 7.2 um, so you'd have to cross the wires over like that now if you put two 8 ohms together like that, you end up with 4 ohms. So you divide the ohms of 1 by the number of speakers. So because there are 8 ohms, you divide the 8, which is how you get the 4 ohms. Now that is fine as long as your decoder um, can take 4 or 8 ohms, or just 4 ohms. Um, most decoders these days should take 4 or 8 ohm speaker or even a 100 ohm speaker um, if you put a 100 ohm speaker in it would work but the volume would decrease um, which is why the, the ohms work similar to electricity uh, when you put ohms in lights uh, for example on your layout the greater the ohms on the um, resistor for example the dimmer the lights. Same with this, the greater the ohms on the speaker, the dimmer, I would say dimmer, the, the quieter rather, the sound output would be. Um, you could never put an 8 ohm or a 4 ohm speaker if your decoder was say a lock sound 3.5 or below. Um, you would damage the, the um, decoder. Um, it, it, you, it would be pushing out too much power that the speakers couldn't handle 
um, or resist rather so you would damage um, the amplification side of um, your decoder um, if I wanted to put them in serial for example I would connect black to red and the two blacks would go to positive and negative on your decoder or um, your circuit board on your uh, train now if you put two together you get twice the amount 8 ohm speaker, 8 ohm speaker times 2 so you get 16 ohms now again that's fine um, with a lock sound 4 for example or the new Zimos that's fine um, the only difference is again if you just had an 8 ohm speaker in and, and I say I don't know say it's put, putting out 1 watt for example then you get the 1 watt if you put them in series you get 16 what um, ohms rather 16 ohms and I don't know the volume would go down to 0.8 watts and these are figures I'm just grabbing out the air it's not exact um, so the volume would decrease if you put two speakers in series with a decoder that can handle um, 16 ohms and again you can the, the greater the ohms the better um, is, is fine yeah, you, again you can use a 100 ohm speaker um, with a lock sound 4 for example or a Zimo um, but you cannot under any circumstances use a 4 ohm or 8 ohm speaker with um, a lock sound uh, 3.5 or below um, <clears throat> so yeah the two again to recap the two main ways of wiring um, speakers together are parallel red to red black to black like that and then the spurs off to your decoder or the circuit board and that will give you four ohms if you have two eight ohm speakers or you could have them in series and that would give you eight ohm plus eight ohms sixteen ohms this as mentioned is in parallel and when I tested it it gave four ohms these are again these are two eight ohm speakers but because this the soldered together in parallel it's divided by two um, same with these these are eight ohm speakers if I solder them together in parallel I would get four ohms if I solder them together in series I would get 16 ohms which are fine for um, again as mentioned lock sound version 4 or the, the new Zimos decoders it's all down to knowing your decoder for example if you wanted to put it into uh, a locomotive two speakers into a locomotive that has TTS sound for example <clears throat> you would need to find out um, whether they could handle four or eight ohms um, if it's four brilliant you can you can do these in parallel again if it's like that they've got to be over like that crossed over so you can't uh, let's get the wires straight you can't do that it's got to be that um, yeah I'm not too sure what um, the output of the speaker and a TTS would be needed whether the TTS is for it doesn't matter if it's four or eight um, um, you could have you could have it in, in parallel so you end up with four ohms you can have it in series which gets 16 ohms and the TTS decoder should be able to handle that um, so that's it if uh, you need any clarification on any of the rubbish I've just said um, please ask Thanks very much.